All right, everybody, welcome. We're on a soft build approach to Soldovia, Alaska. And uh, a little bit of a low weather day. We're in Class Golf airspace right now. Kind of interesting. Got some low clouds here. And we're gonna set up for a soft field approach now. Okay, I got you inside. I'm gonna pass behind you and shouldn't be a factor. Two, three, and a four, I agree. All right, we're setting up. Car peat, gas is on both, undercarriage, down a lot, mixture, full rich, seat belts and switches, okay? Now, we have to approach this confined airport a little bit different. I set it for my landing early, and I do like a dog leg final through this low part of the terrain and trees, okay? So it's a little bit interesting how it works out. And this time I'm going to show you that dog leg final. On the next video, the short field landing, I'm going to show you a slip to a landing, okay? So we're combine, combining a bunch of different techniques from different landings into one. So I'm managing my airspeed. I'm getting down into the white arc because I need to get, need to get my flaps in. I'm a little bit high, but that's okay. I can see the edge of the runway. You may or may not be able to see it. And I'm just going to start working down here. I'm even going to go my second notch of flaps and work down through this little waterway that goes into town and manage my energy, okay? Really manage your energy. You wanna be right on target. I'm gonna try to land right at the beginning of the runway, nice and smooth. It's all on the line here. I'm gonna go my final notch of flaps. Fourth of July Creek, 900 for Fort Graham. I'm almost power idle at this point, just coming down a little steeper over these trees and through the town, keeping an eye on my energy and what I can do. I'm gonna come right over the top of these trees here, and then I'll turn a dog leg final here. So here we go. Cleared those, coming around the corner. Might bump the power just a little bit. Nice, smooth, coordinated turn. And we're landing as we're rolling out on that turn, okay? So there we go, we can keep that nose wheel off. And not too bad. So that's a soft field landing, okay? So I'm gonna taxi off here and set up for my short field. I'm not just gonna go around right here. It's a pretty short runway. All right, so thanks for joining. If you have any questions, let me know. Of course, I talked about in the soft field landing video as well that you need to watch out for the trees and the way the wind moves. You gotta be really creative about how you think about that because it really does move around quite a bit and you, you've got to be aware of what the wind is doing at all times and uh, have enough wherewithal to interact, to counteract, to react to whatever is happening to you. So know where the wind's coming from, visualize how it's going to spill over those trees and come down and, and affect your airplane. Is it going to push you down? Is it going to give you some extra lift? What is it going to do to you? So. Keep those things in mind, enjoy, and I'm going to set up for this short field takeoff. And I'm going to actually climb out at VX just to show you the difference of how it works. I don't necessarily do that at these airports, that's kind of the FAA way of doing it. But um, good, to, good to test out anyway, okay? So that's going to be the short field takeoff. We're going to be doing that here next. I'm going to come to a stop here and get into that video. So subscribe, like, share. Thanks for coming along, fly safe, and until next time, the rattle on. Fly on over to aviatortraining.com for online ground school, podcasts, videos, and more to become or grow as an aviator.